Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber, you go and do something like this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And I tell you what, if people are willing to pay $11,000 for that Connor Bedard NHL draft pick card, Bruh. then I'm willing to open up two boxes of these mega boxes from series one, right here on the Just Hockey Cards channel. All right, boys and girls, gather around because we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna revisit retail yet again. Last video I did, we talked about how to cash in when series two comes out. I'm watching some really ridiculous numbers pop up on eBay and card ladder. I think we have an underutilized profit maker right here in front of us, these mega packs. Seven total packs in here, 12 cards per pack. Gonna be very similar to hobby. Of course, you're not gonna be getting the uh, the one of ones. You're not gonna get the high glosses. You're not gonna get the acetates and stuff like that in here. But there is the chance to get the outburst silvers in here, as well as that Connor Bedard NHL draft card that people are going nuts for. And PSA 10 just recently sold for $12,000, another one for $10,000. One sold the very next day for almost $9,000. And uh, <laughs> you guys are nuts. Shut up and take my money. Is it gonna keep its value? I don't see how. Clearly we're in uncharted waters when it comes to Connor Petard, but if people are buying, I'm gonna be selling if I get one. So these boxes come with this exclusive 23-24 rookie class, and we're looking for red parallels apparently out of here. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy first. We've got Jason Stauber, Ridley Gregg, Tyson Forrester. It's a kind of nice looking cards though, right? I like these. All right, so we got six of these packs. And uh, like I said, we're looking, we're looking for that one, that one freaking card that will get me a new car. <laughs> Pavelski, Malgin, we've got an OPG Glossy. We've got Tyson Forrester again there. Teacher's Pet Sorokin, and we got a Mark Stone UD Portraits. God, I love these things. These are so much fun. And some base. So then yes, the answer is yes. You can get the Connor Bedard NHL draft card Easter egg out of these packs the short print, the SP, that I don't think is as short print as we think it is. There's Casper, David Pasternak with the honor roll. We've got a UD canvas all over Bjorkstrand. And, and then base. So no young guns yet. We did quite well out of the two tens I opened up last week. And... We got a star surge here, Matt Boldy star surge. Debut dates, Jonathan Gruden. And there is a parallel. Honor roll, David Pasternak. And then we got the Marco Casper right behind that. That's our first Young Guns. For reference, I mean, come on, honestly, if this one wasn't ugly enough, this one is repulsive. Hey, right, looks like we got another star surge here, or it's going to be one of those, yeah, special editions. I really like these cards. I think they're classy looking. Pack filler, Kevin Fiala, and another, well, there's a good one to get, right? Dustin Wolf. We'll take that. So two young guns and no Connor Bedards. Can we get three young guns out of these boxes? I didn't even look at the odds to tell you the truth, so I don't know. There's a glossy Jacob Peltier. Got an Owen Beck 200 by 85. And then another honor roll. We got Kata Hot there.
more base. All right, last pack of this box to hit the short print. What is a short print really other than something that they didn't print? Look, if they print a million of these and they decide to only print 900,000 of the Connor Bedard, then it's a short print. Think I'm lying? Look it up. There's some more pasta. Rookie Retrospective, which I don't really like these. Mark Kestelik. And our last young gun, Tyler Clevin. All right, box number two. By the way, two boxes of these mega boxes was $84 here, US. So this would be a red parallel, yes? Oh, look at that. So there you go. There's our red parallel of Yaroslav Askarov. And Jason Stubber. So it was a very goalie-centric pack. So we've hit a couple of parallels already, which is not a bad thing. What's going on here? So there's four, so are we getting one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's Marco Casper, Pack Filler, Matty Beneers with the end. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, and more base. All right, pack number two here on our Bedard Hunt. And we got Morgan Frost, TJ Brody, Stamkos there sideways, got a glossy Cole Caulfield. Trevor Zegris. On a roll, then another nice UD canvas, Braden Point. Man, they really knocked it out of the park with the UD. I mean, this one's kind of a plain one, but man, most of them just been awesome this season. And base. I'm going to go ahead and remind you guys to hit that like button if you like the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure those notifications are turned on so you get updates on all the cool stuff we're doing here on the channel. We got our first Dazzler, which is Nick Schmaltz. Uh, Nathan McKinnon, War Zone. No, Star Zone. <laughs> And then, Rookie Retrospective, Wyatt Johnson. And Young Gun. I don't know this cat. Daniel Gushin. Don't know him. I mean, Christ, look, who, look where he plays. All right, three to go. Can we hit it? Will we hit it? I don't know. I don't know what the odds are on retail. Maybe somebody's done a workup on that, but it requires too much math for me. We got a Dustin Wolf glossy. Matthew Barzal. And a Shvechnikov superstar honor roll. Well, two packs to go, I guess. I guess I'm not getting a new car. There's still time, though. It's a Connor McDavid special edition. That's a nice one to get, huh? Teacher's pet, Ovi. And there's a pretty gross looking J-Rob. <laughs> this must be a parallel as well. Or not, I have no idea. That's a disgusting looking card. It's like a fucking Christmas tree. Young Guns Checklist here, Matthew Nyes and Luke Hughes. All right, we need some serious last pack mojo. Last one, best one. Just hoping, hoping, hoping. A little radish there. We got a Star Surge, Luke Hughes. 
teacher's pet. And our last young gun, which is a Brock Faber. Then base. All right, the hits, the hits, the hits. This is out of two boxes worth of uh, inserts and stuff. Got a couple of absolutely grotesque honor roll parallels here. David Posternock, Jason Robertson. These are just gross. Look at this pretty cool rookie class Askarov parallel. I like these cards. I think they look cool. They kind of look like a comic book. Very cool. Dig them. Then our young guns, we got uh, Tyler Clevin there, Marco Casper. We got uh, Gushin and Brock Faber. Got the checklist. And then we pulled Dustin Wolf, which I haven't gotten one of these yet out of any of the packs that I've opened. So that's a good thing. Well, that's the break. Uh, no Connor Bedard, no Honda for me. But I tell you what, I do think I will keep trying. Even when uh, Series 2 comes out, if prices tend to stay that high, I think you might be better off buying these Series 1 boxes hobby or retail than you would be going out and buying hobby boxes of Series 2, spending $300 on a box that... The odds of pulling the Connor Bedard Young Guns is one out of every eight and a half to nine boxes. So you guys spend 2,500 bucks before getting one of those cards. Is it going to be a $2,500 card? Is it going to be a $10,000? I, I don't know what to tell you. It's Everything is stupid right now, which is why I think you should be buying these and trying to get one of those cards. I don't think it's as short print as everybody thinks it is, which is another reason why I don't think it's going to keep its value. But, you know, if people are buying, then I'll be selling. I think that card probably settles down into the... Uh, 150 to 300 dollar range honestly and these these guys that uh paid 10 11 12 thousand dollars for that card tell me something are you stupid or something stupid is stupid does sir Whew. i hope you're not married so there you have it guys once again Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We have big stuff coming up. We're going to be launching a membership site, which is going to have a whole lot of member only content. And you'll only get notifications on when we do that if you hit that notification bell when you hit subscribe. So make sure you do that so you get updates on all the cool stuff that we're doing like this.